Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and today we're going to concentrate on how to replace the bushings in your fenders. Uh, I have some videos on tearing the machine apart but I don't really go into depth on any one part. So as you guys need help, I'm going to start making videos strictly on whatever the issue is so it'll be a little easier for you to do it <clears throat> now there's a couple things you want to uh, take note of before you take your bushings out apparently this one has been replaced at one time this is out of my old uh, 23 23 my 33 inch I took apart for parts now if you take a good look at the, this is the bushing and the fender for the differential. Do you see these slots in the bushing? See how they're pointing on an angle? Now let me show you a fender that has never been taken apart. This is out of the machine I'm tearing apart of my bosses. It is five years old. Uh, I had a wonderful opportunity to, I guess, operate on this thing. And I know nobody has worked on it before me. He bought it brand new and uh, has never touched it until now. Now here is the bushing out of the differential side on his. See how the slots are oriented on this bushing? This is the way the fender sits as your tractor is on the ground. Now as your parts and gears and chain is throwing oil around in here, it runs down. And it runs right through this slot and lubricates the axle in this bushing and the excess runs out the bottom. If it is not oriented right, or if they have this bushing in here sideways, the oil is not going to run down there and lubricate that like it's supposed to. So when you put them back in, you have to orient them properly. The same with the bearing or the bushing on the um, chain case side. You got a grease fitting on that one. And that has to be pointing down towards this wonderful little convenient hole they have there. But if you look close enough, the grease fitting is pointing away from the hole. You can't put a grease gun up in here and get onto that. Besides, if you could, your tire's in the way. So why they even put that hole in there was a waste of time. So when you put this in, I usually put them in so they're close to that hole. I guess that just give you a little more clearance to get the grease gun onto that fitting. Because this is you're going to want to grease. You're not going to want to uh, uh, forget about that because that will wear this bushing out. Now to get the bushings in and out of here. I can take them down to my shop where I work. I have a 12 ton press. They'll pop these babies right in and out with no trouble. But what do you have at home? Probably not a press. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick this in a vise. Most everybody has a vise. If you don't, you're going to get somebody to hold this for you. Otherwise, you need three hands. Now, the thing I made, you'll see in some of my other videos. I better move this. Is a, uh, just a bunch of hardware parts to press these out with. I've got a fitting for a PVC pipe. I got two of them, but really you only need the one. This is bigger 
because it has to span not only the bushing but the grease fitting that's sticking out in the way. So I, I got a bigger one for that. The smaller one was for the differential side because all it has to do is clear the bushing. But why buy two? Just get the big one. And this, I believe, is a two inch. Then you can go into your electrical apartment and you can get a couple round electrical covers for a steel box with a knockout hole in the top. And you just knock them plugs out. I had two on each side. You need four of them. They're like 97 cents. Short piece of threaded rod. Two nuts on the back side jammed together. Put that through. You want to shove this through from the back side of the bushing. The way you want to push it out. Or in this case, we're going to be pulling it out, I guess. Put your coupling on. Now I use this a lot, so I don't use the electrical covers because after a while they'll get dished from the pressure. I took a, a piece of, I don't know if this is 12 or 10 gauge sheet metal at the shop with a hole saw and I cut out a couple of circles. You put, you put that on your threaded rod. Then I put on three or four half inch washers. Now the reason I put so many on, is you drip a little oil between these washers and it kind of acts as a bearing to help you get the torque you need to pull this out of here. With. And it's kind of clumsy to get this thing all screwed on here. Now I'm going to grab a ratchet and a wrench. Which I forgot to grab before I started the camera. So, you get this thing lined up as best you can in the center of the bushing. And you just tighten this up. And it will pop that out of there. Now that poppy noise is not the plastic breaking. That is the bushing starting to pop out and move. So it's going to make that noise. That's it. Now to put it back in, I don't have a new one, so let's just shove the old one back in to show you how easy this really is. Now remember, you want to get them slots oriented in the right position. If, uh, if yours is up and down the way it's supposed to be, now this is turned sideways, so up and down when it's on its tractor on its tires is this direction. So turn them slots. Now this thing pushes in all within about three-eighths of an inch because the bushing has a lead on it. That's where it's turned down smaller so it'll start in easier. Just orient your slots, kind of shove it in there. Put your puller back through from the other direction. Now when you're shoving this through, you want to put your plastic part, the spacer, on the opposite side. Your big plate. 
your four or five oily washers. And if we can get the nut started. I've used this, I think it's probably time for me to get a new piece of threaded rod. If your local hardware store doesn't have any threaded rod, I've got a part right here that I use on my deck. Just get yourself a half inch carriage bolt. Then you won't have to jam two nuts on the back side. You got a head on it. You can use one of them. Just kind of line this thing up as close as you can get it. And tighten it up good. Now you don't want to reef it down too hard. You can tell when it stops moving. And that's it. You can take it off and check it. to make sure that it is seated all the way in. If it's not, just put your puller back on and tighten it up a little more. And there you have it. Now the slots are oriented in the right direction so your oil will run down. And you've got your new bushing in there. Well, I've got my old bushing in there, but you will have your new one in. And that is all there is to it. Simple, quick. I don't know what else to tell you. If you do have any trouble, send me an email or put something in the description box below and everybody can read it and benefit from it. And I will answer it. So uh, the other side is basically the same. Let me grab this one. And the other one's basically the same, putting it in and pulling it out. You use your, your two inch coupler. That will span the bushing and you can see the grease fitting down here. It'll span just makes it over top of both of them. That's how you push it in. Or push it out, whatever direction you're going. So if you've got any other questions, like I said, drop them down there in that box. If you haven't already, Big Brain Johnston at work made me a little uh, picture. I'll put somewhere on the screen you touch to subscribe. Don't forget to do that. I am putting videos on all the time. I am, whenever you guys have a question, I'll be making a video. I mean, uh, I kind of thought I've went as far as I could, but I just keep getting questions all the time. And uh, a lot of them are in the videos when I was tearing the machine apart. And there's a lot of information stuffed into a short little video. So this is why I'm going to do precise pieces of disassembling so it'll be more beneficial to you guys that have never done this before. To me, it's, it's like walking around the park. It's uh, <laughs> done it so much, it's easy for me to forget to say something that you critically need to know. So if you've got something and you're, you're stuck and you're not sure, just send me a message. Let me know. I'll go over it with you. I just got off the phone this morning driving to my sister's to help her move. I called three guys to help them out. They sent me their phone number and some pictures. One sent a video. And uh, I called them up when I was driving. That's half an hour drive. Helped them out. And I'm moving furniture. <laughs> Don't that sound like fun? So, <clears throat> I guess I'm going to go. Just remember to work safe, have fun, and let's cut that lawn. We'll talk to you soon.